Right, okay. Oh, you are kidding me. Hi, I'm Will Croshaw. Welcome back to The Humble Bartender. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make a fantastic porn star martini. It's on trend. It's super contemporary. So I'm sure many of you have had one of these in the past. They're in most bars now across the country. Uh, very, very popular. Uh, an ultimate modern classic, I suppose. Given the amazing weather in the UK at the minute, I thought it fitting to do a cocktail that a lot of people are sat outside sipping. So the porn star martini actually came to life around 2002, from what I've heard, uh, created by a chap called Douglas Ankra bartender of the townhouse in Knightsbridge. First called the Maverick Martini, named after a dodgy nightclub in Cape Town, apparently. This cocktail has been adapted since to the Porn Star Martini. Uh, you can see variations of it across the country. Uh, I've done a few myself, uh, especially uh, over seasonal periods, tweaking the flavors, tweaking ingredients. What I'm gonna show you today is my best version that you can create at home with minimal ingredients, stuff that you can literally pop down to the supermarket and get. One thing that I do like to use, you may have to order online, you can get it on Amazon and get it anywhere. It's quite cheap. It is a passion fruit syrup. I use Monin. I'll be showing you that in just a moment. In future videos to come, we're going to be showing you how you can create a passion fruit syrup at home as well, which works really well in this cocktail. So classically, the drink's main ingredients are Pessoa and vanilla vodka. So the brand I'm using today is Stolichnaya. This is a really good quality vanilla vodka. You can find absolute vanilla in supermarkets, also very good, or you can create your own. With plain vodka, what you can use is vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. I prefer the bean paste because it has a bit more of a natural flavor. Or you can actually just use vanilla pods, chuck them in the vodka for a few days to a week, uh, let it infuse. Do you get a better quality of vodka in my opinion. But today for simplistic purposes, we're gonna be using Stolly Vanilla Persoa, a fantastic passion fruit liqueur. Uh, this is the kind of the industry standard. You can get other brands. I know Brio Tech do one. I know Giffard's do one as well. Uh, I love this stuff because it has that fantastic pink color, which lends really well to a porn star martini. So as a suppose we should dive right into creating this. So what I'm gonna do is just get my ingredients out here. So what I mentioned previously, uh, moaning passion fruit. So moaning syrups are fantastic. We've got the passion fruit here. As I say, in, in future videos, we will be walking you through how you can create your own passion fruit syrup at home. But you can get this on Amazon. You can get this in some smaller liqueur stores. Have a little look around for it. As I say, about six quid on Amazon. Get it delivered, not a problem. If you're doing a party, it's worth getting. It's just a really, really good staple to have on the bar. So for my recipe, I like to use uh, pineapple juice. This creates a fantastic foam, the kind of traditional foam that you will see on a prawn star martini in a bar. Some people use passion fruit puree, which does also froth up quite a bit, but for me, it's a little bit too tart. I really like the addition of pineapple juice. So for me, I've just bottled up some pineapple juice. This is from, uh, this is from Mazda. This is not from Concentrate. Uh, they're not from concentrate stuff. For me, it's better. You get more of the pulp of the pineapple in there, which is what you want for it to froth up. It's exactly what you're going for. So in my recipe as well, I do like to use a touch of lemon juice personally. So what I'm going to do is just juice uh, this humongous lemon. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna uh, cut this in half. You can use a Mexican's elbow. You can just squeeze it straight into your tin. But what I'm actually gonna do is use this little contraption that I also picked up for about two quid. So what I'm gonna do is just strain it into a tin. Mm. That is good. So from here, I'm just gonna chuck it into a bowl. Use a funnel for this if you like. I like to think I've got a good hand. <laughs> cool, so I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Don't need that. I'll get that washed up in a moment. So there's just a little bit of lemon juice there. Right, so Boston tin, small one, or you can use a Boston glass, whatever you've got available at home. So I'm gonna take my 25 ml jigger, go in with our first ingredient. So we're gonna go 25 mils of Pessoa, straight into the tin. Take your vanilla vodka, so two made ingredients straight in. Another 25 mils. I've worked in ounces before, which is 28 mils for an ounce, which you can use as well if you, you know, if you've got speed pourers on and you can pour in ounces, do that absolutely fine. So passion fruit syrup. We're gonna use about 15 mils. Depending on how sweet you want it, you can put a little bit more in there if you want. Some people like it sweeter. So I'm gonna use a bit of lemon juice to balance as well. So, oh, just not a lot, about five, five to 10 mils. 
depending on your preference at home, you can play around with this. There's no set rules. There's just your guideline is your, your Pessoa and your vanilla vodka want to be a shot of each. And the pineapple juice, about a shot and a half. If you want to be precise, about 37.5 mils. So I've actually pre-chilled my coop down as well. I just took some of the ice out of the freezer, put it in the bag and just smashed it on the floor with a pan to be fair, nice and easy. You can get hand crushes for about a fiver online as well if you do want crushed ice from other drinks like mojitos, handy to have. Um, so that's nice and cold. You don't want to be putting it into warm glass because if you've got a really nice cold cocktail, you put it into a warmer glass, it's going to try equalize. You're not going to get the most optimum chill on the cocktail. So I've got a makeshift ice well under here. It's just a tub, nothing fancy. I've got my chill coop there. I'm going to take a scoop of ice down here. Don't have an ice scoop because nobody does. So I'm just using a tin, not a problem. So you want to get your tin nice and tight on there. Give it a little, make sure that's nicely sealed. You want to really give it some, you want to get the pineapple nice and frothed up to create that foam. So you've got to give it some welly. So you know it's done when it's nice and cold. You see the kind of frosting on the outside of the tin. Clip it off, have a little taste. Unbelievable, as always. So take your Hawthorne strainer, just on top of your tin. Fine strainer as well. We don't want any of the shards, you see. We want it to be a smooth drink with no little bits of ice in there whatsoever. And we just pour it in. See the beautiful pink. Lovely little foam on top. Get all them last little bits of foam out because they will sit at the bottom of the tin. A little bang. Looking good. Get rid of that down here. So as a garnish, we want to use a passion fruit. I've got one here that's cut in half already. Um, this is actually a really nice ripe one. So this was all nice and wrinkly. As you can see, that's when you know they're ripe. And we want a nice, sweet passion fruit half to pop in the drink. Just sit it in there on the top. One star martini wouldn't be a porn star martini without a shot of Prosecco. So I've got a little shot glass here. I don't drink a lot of Prosecco, so I bought myself a little mini bottle. I think this was 2.50 from Asda. So a little shot of Prosecco, just to serve on the side. And that's it, everybody. This is your porn star martini. Absolutely delicious. So there's a little bit of a debate in regards to the order of how you drink this drink. I've seen people dump the Prosecco in. I've seen people shot the Prosecco, chuck the drink down in various orders. The technical order is you eat the passion fruit, drink the Prosecco, then drink the cocktail. But for me personally, I like to sip it on the side. I think, you know, having the Prosecco on the side to kind of cut through the sweetness of the drink is a nice little thing. So we'll have a little taste up. Oh, every time it doesn't get old. Absolutely delicious, beautiful balance of flavour. Passion fruit and vanilla, pineapple juice for, for texture. A little bit of lemon, just sits in the background just to balance it all up with a passion fruit syrup in there as well, you need it. I absolutely love this cocktail. No shame in drinking one of these whatsoever. A little sip of the Prosecco on the side. Absolutely brilliant. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it straightforward enough. I hope you recreate this recipe. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this recipe, please do like, share, and subscribe. Get on the Instagram at The Humble Bartender or Twitter at Humble Bartender or www.thehumblebartender.com. Share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Pond Star Martini. I'm The Humble Bartender. I'll see you soon. I just love it. Mm. Delicious.